My name is Bill Robbins and I practice in San Antonio. My tip for you today is related to the newer concept in dentistry of sleep disordered breathing. My partner Jeff Rouse has taught me a lot about sleep disordered breathing and I'd like to share a couple of concepts with you. First of all, sleep disordered breathing is a continuum. There are three different uh, categories within the continuum. It starts with snoring and we've come to realize that snoring is not benign. It's not good for you, number one, and number two, it commonly leads to progression in the continuum. The second in the continuum is upper airway resistance syndrome, the type are called UARS. And patients with UARS don't completely obstruct the way apnea patients do, but they have arousals all night, and therefore they never get to deep sleep and they never have restorative sleep. This is actually common in the female, the thinner female, because anatomically their airways are smaller. They also commonly present with people with UARS present with the other somatic syndromes like fibromyalgia, restless leg syndrome, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, TMD. All of those go very nicely with UARS. The third in the continuum is obstructive sleep apnea, and that's usually the overweight patient that we're familiar with that completely obstructs. So that's the continuum. The other point I want to make is that I don't think it's important that we as dentists treat sleep apnea patients for their sleep apnea, although certainly we have the capability of doing that, but I think it's incumbent upon us to help the patient get to that diagnosis because if we help a patient get a diagnosis of sleep disorder breathing, it's going to improve the quality of their life, number one, and number two, it's going to improve or lengthen the longevity of their lives. So if you have a patient that's got significant horizontal wear and or erosion, I think those two findings dictate further questions, such as do you snore at night, do you have excess daytime sleepiness? So again, I don't think we have to treat these patients, but I believe it is our obligation to at least help these patients get a diagnosis by including this information in our examination and our, in our health history. A really good book, I think, to have, both for the dentist and to have in the office for the patients, is a book that's called Sleep Interrupted by Dr. Stephen Park. Thank you, hope this helps you in your practice.